just another day on the Rio Grande. With the wind blowing at us in the wrong direction. <laughs> it's like, oh, we can't go. It's gonna push us backwards all the way to Colorado. In for Mike, Torpedo Mike. Not the high performance paddles. Hey, watch out. Thank you. You're welcome. Good day to collide in the river. Cosito Alright, so we're back at Monte Verde. This time I am on this little lifetime raft. I think I'm going to buy this thing. Buy a couple of them. They are freaking awesome. It's the only reason why we're here today, so I can test drive this thing. In a few seconds, we'll uh, see the others. They're going to be in a, in a uh, pedal, pedal boat. They're back behind me right now, getting started, and uh, we'll go have some fun. Where's the button? There they are, on the collision course. This thing is definitely, definitely gonna buy at least one for me. I don't know if you want one, but this, yeah, for the price and this feeling, it's just like freedom. Like the other one was, was a lot more protective. It's got the sides and you know, your, your legs were under the, the airbags and everything and then it's more a little more comfortable too yeah. but but for thirteen hundred dollar or fourteen hundred compared to two hundred this is a winner all the way you know maybe eventually we'll buy the other one for other things but but just to have like little places like this now good question 
if you put this in the same river we rode yesterday, would you flip over? I think the likelihood is a lot is a lot likely that you would. The other one was wider and it, it seemed a little bit more stable. But with more practice, I think you'll be just fine with this one. If you m spend more time with it, I think you'll figure out, yeah, it's, you can actually, like a bicycle, you can balance on it and figure out where you need to be. So anyway. Listen to that sound of a V8 diesel engine pushing that little tugboat. That's a sign of them being okay. Somebody's got a house right there on the, on the water. By the way, this is a self bailing boat. If you can see the bubbles right there, they come in, they only get as high as that little section. And I guess there's some down here that also flows out as the boat's moving so it never fills up with water like a sit-in so cool technology for such a cheap boat I don't want to say cheap like inexpensive seems very good quality